Well, hey guys, this is JT at Rubber City Motoring. I wanted to show you a little fun fact I learned about the Impala. This also works on the Caprice, the Wagon, uh, the Roadmaster. There's lots of different options for this, but let me explain. So in the Impala here, um, it's, it's very simple. You have obviously two seats up front, there's no bench. And then in the back, uh, I had two infant seats. And I have a booster sitting in there. Lily's a little bigger, so she can kind of use this now. But as you start to install child seats in these, you realize this is a different era of car. These seat belts here, they don't do what new cars do where they do the locking mechanism. So you have to use a little locking clip. The other end is this car does not have, like most new cars, a rear anchor point to attach the third anchor of your car seat, your, your child seat, which I mean, that's great, you know, if you want to be real about it, everybody survived without that, but it is a somewhat important safety feature. And believe it or not, GM thought of this back in the 90s. So let me show you what we got going on over here. I happen to be looking at my factory service manual. And if you don't have these, they're very useful to have. You learn quite a bit, lots of procedures, lots of tips and things like that, very in-depth. But there's a section where on page 10, 11, 9, this is book one of two, child seat tether anchor. I'm not sure if you can read this, but it says if the child seat requires a top strap, that's basically the strap that goes from the back of the seat, the car seat, the, the infant seat, sorry, my, my brain is fried right now, and it goes to um, a third anchor point, like the, our new Kia out there, super exciting car, let me tell you. <laughs> it, it Those anchors are on the back of the back seat so you you string it up and over and you attach it and torque it down so if a child seat requires a top strap is to be used in the rear seat position of the sedan a special dealer installed anchor must be used to anchor the child tether to the rear window panel in order to assure the correct child seat tether angle make sure your seat blah 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 so it's like don't angle it anything like that just put it on the, the where the seat's going to go if the anchor bracket is being installed for the first time, use the following procedure. So they've got the whole procedure, how to install this anchor. And what I thought is interesting, so we have two pictures. A, this is the Buick only, right up here. This is the Chevrolet only. They, the, like, so I'm imagining this, those are your speaker holes there. And they show an exploded, and there's your bracket with a little spacer. Uh, mounting plate down there and it's got like a little locking uh, J J clip tab there to tighten the bolt in that my first thought was like man wouldn't that be cool if a dealer just had this laying around in a bag I I'm guessing it's universal I'm I don't think it's Impala specific it looks just like a little tab you'd have back there kind of ugly so I started looking on the car, and, and I, I found these holes. They're, they're back there. And, and if you didn't know this on your car, I'm not saying you'd ever use this, but um, it's interesting. Let me show you. So a little point of reference here. There's our spare. So we go up here, and you see that hole, and then the oval, or it's like more of a squarish hole, next rectangle hole next to it. That is where it's supposed to go, right right there and then up there you can see we kind of have the uh, oh gosh sorry I'm ruining this now right up here uh, where those wires are going that's your receiver for your um, remote access and then right here is your your third brake light bulb right there but it's supposed to basically install in in those those holes right there big bracket underneath and what's interesting let's see if I can show you this without dropping everything this isn't the thickest of metal. And that tether isn't really meant to, to hold much weight. I mean, it would work. It's a third anchor point, but it's not like, uh, you know, you're going to... I think if you torqued it too much, you would actually pull up on that sheet metal back there. But it can go there. So let me show you what I had in mind. As I said, I think this part is no longer around. If you have one of these, I'd be curious to see it just for fun. I mean, when you get into cars this old, I mean, the, the safety standards on child seats and stuff, is it changes every week, it seems like. So what I secured here, uh, these actually 
are, are pretty common on a lot of cars. These are like a cargo strap, and, and even in my, my Trailblazer, um, these are in the back, and that's your, your third anchor point for the car seat. But um, I was going to get these, paint them gray, and then really secure them to there as a third anchor point, and then they would almost blend in like factory, but didn't get around to that, and you know, the the I only have one kid left that's in the third anchor style seat, and obviously the car is for sale, so I'm not going to put these in, but it's, it is an in-depth install. Seems simple enough, but I mean, they even tell you to seal it up and make sure you don't have any, uh, you know, letting any carbon monoxide in and all that stuff. So pretty in-depth. They don't want you to obviously kill your family trying to be safe, but pretty cool. And I mean, if you don't have one of these books, highly recommended, lots of exploded views, how pieces, parts come off. I mean, it's it's a good one to flip through. So lots of electrical stuff and all that, but little known fun fact on the uh, B body, you can set it up for a third anchor tether uh, for a infant car seat if you're you're looking to do that. So you can become dad of the year and the hero of your household by doing this and showing just how safe this car can be. And I think it's a pretty safe car. It's huge. I mean, there's so much sheet metal and spacing between you and everybody else. I think it's a neat car for, for the family and to haul everybody around safely. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time here on Rubber City Motoring. Have a good one.